Welcome back to The Real Men of Real Estate, hosted by me, Thomas F. Chappelle Jr., with our special guest, Delphina Miller. And we were just talking about uh, what inspired her to go out and go get a unit in Inglewood versus close to her home. So if you can expound on that real quick, I appreciate it. So location, um, that just with the stadium being right down the street, I felt that Inglewood would be a great location because there's going to be lots of events when people come in to, or, you know, at the stadium, the forums there. Um, people want to stay near the water. It's not that far from the beach. You know, if people wanted to um, be near um, a beach, you know, um, so and that's why. And I've got if I need different things done, I do have, you know, people that are close by to the unit that I can, you know, uh, just kind of dispatch, <laughs> <laughs> dispatch and, um, you know, who can go and take care of some things for me if need be, but I'm very hands-on and I have been hands-on. So, okay. So, uh, is this going to be your only one? Or are you looking at doing multiple and are you going to continue to do it in Inglewood? Or are you going to go to other cities? Definitely is not going to be the last one or the only one. So I've got my eye on another one. I had another one um, that I was interested but in, but it ended up like not being available. Okay. So I kind of dragged my feet on that one. So okay. So I am actually getting ready to make contact tomorrow <laughs> 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 on um, another one I spy <laughs> so um, and it just depends it it depends on location it depends on you know a number of different factors so I'm not gonna just limit you know myself to one area but uh, we'll see what happens okay so being that this is women's month and you are a woman uh, how can you, um, if someone was was coming to you and say, hey, I want to do what you do, how can you help them, what you would do to inspire them to follow their dream? Reach out to me. Uh, reach out to me and let's just have a conversation. Let's talk. Um, sometimes, and I have actually uh, gotten phone calls from people um, that have been in, in our meetings, <laughs> <laughs> that have been in our meetings, and uh, the timing, I was probably on my way to or coming from an appointment or just, you know, sitting down trying to eat for the day, because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that doesn't happen often, um, but, you know, hey, let's work out a time, you know, where we can chat. Um, it's probably easiest for me um, during days, but you know what? No two days are the same. There are like some weeks where my mornings, every morning is stacked, where another week, all my evenings or the majority of my evenings are stacked. You know, I still have to take care of home too. So, you know, if I'm sitting at the table having dinner or, you know, picking up little people, <laughs> <laughs> you know, going to and from, you know, football practices, you know, with the, the boy, the other boy, um, you know, family has to have a priority also. So in all that that you do with all mm -hmm. these different hats, you are juggling this, this, this kind of thing mm -hmm. like it's no problem. <laughs> you taking it with stride, you know. One day at a time. <laughs> One day. <laughs> Not thinking about tomorrow, but tomorrow busy. <laughs> and it's a Monday. <laughs> so what keeps what keeps your head focused? How do you stay focused with all the many things that you got going on? Because some people will say, Oh, this is just too much. I can't I can't do it. So I need help. How are you focusing and what's the drive? What's your why? That's the question that everybody's going to ask. What is your why? I, my why is them. Okay. Good answer. Um, sorry. I get a little emotional. Okay. Okay. Um, but everything I do, take your time. I do it for them. 
So mm-hmm. are any of your children looking to follow into your footsteps or they're looking at doing something else? My daughter, she, my oldest daughter, she graduated high school last year. Um, she is in Florida and she wants to, she's actually pursuing her real estate license there. Okay. So, yeah, she's very interested. Well, in I got a lot of hookup in Florida, so we'll just, <laughs> we, we'll take care of that. I got a lot of hookup in Florida. Right on. <laughs> yeah. But th- that's that's the that's the whole beauty about you know life is family. Like I tell people, you've been given a personal invitation by Jesus Christ Himself to sit at a never-ending table to feast. And I say the reason why we celebrate because food is an expression of love. Mm. And with that in mind is that when you get at that table, everybody don't look like you. And it has nothing to do with skin colors. Basically, you think everybody's got it going on when everybody doesn't. This is where the help is at. So if you come to the table, if you come to these meetings and you come and network, you never know who you're going to run into who's going to be your benefactor, who's going to be your partner, who's going to be whoever and everything. It's not always going to be peaches and cream, you know, because there are some people there that you're not going to get along with. But the majority of those people are there are willing to help. They don't want your money. They want your brain. They're not selling you books, tapes, and videos. As far as the clubs that I attend, you know, they're all non-sales clubs. So, you know, I, I'm I'm very proud of this woman here because, you know, she sat back and listened to something and she decided to do it based on what the gentleman was saying in the video. And from her coming to my club and doing this, it, you know, it's just like this is one of my children that I can be proud of that stepped out on faith and did something that most people wouldn't do. You know, they will always come up with excuses saying, this is the reason why I can't do it. And you just took it, the bull by the horns and you ran with it. And I am so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> You're quite welcome. You know, a um, couple more minutes that um, before we go into our last segment here. Um, what else do you have that? most people can find that so difficult to um, just take charge, especially being uh, a woman in this in this world. And this is being Women's Month. Please elaborate on that. <laughs> um, don't put limits on yourself. Um, I, every day is different. I have goals. Um, and every day, just like Jay said, do something. Do something. No matter how small you think it is, do something. So, you know, you may dibble and dabble in one area and you, you know, find, okay, this ain't for me. And you find something else. And you may have to try a few things, you know, before you finally say, okay. I like this. Or, you know what? (laughs) I can do this. (laughs) So, um, you know, what's for you is for you. And what's for someone else may not be for you. This is true. This is very true. You know. Yeah. So just, you know, stay focused on you. And, you know, if you need help, you get stuck, just pick up the phone and reach out, you know, to the people that you network with you know just have somebody that you can bounce ideas and run questions through you know i needed a bathtub reglazed (laughs) (laughs) what i do i didn't know anybody google google was my friend (laughs) so well ladies and gentlemen we get ready to take another uh commercial break here and we're going to come back and wrap it up with our guest delphina miller Thank you for listening to The Real Men of Real Estate.